Hey everyone, so you've heard of Android and iOS, but what about Ubuntu Touch? Yeah, that's right, native Linux on your smartphone. I just installed it on my Poco phone, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and what makes this OS so cool. Let's jump right in. First things first, what's Ubuntu Touch? It's a mobile OS built by UB Pores, and it's all about keeping things open source, lightweight, and, most importantly, private. No ads tracking you, no unnecessary apps cluttering up your phone. It's just a simple, clean experience. And the best part? It works beautifully on older devices like the Poco phone. As you can see, the camera app works well, and the gesture-based navigation is quite similar to Android. You can switch between apps by swiping from the right side of the screen. The phone also supports SIM cards, allowing you to make calls. However, when I tried making a call, my carrier network, which requires voice over LTE, wasn't supported on Ubuntu Touch. As a result, I couldn't make calls. That said, mobile data worked perfectly without any issues. The quick panel, however, was a nightmare for me. Due to the large notch on my device, it obscured most of the options. The panel itself feels reminiscent of Android 4 KitKat with a similar basic design. One cool feature is that you can rotate the device to any angle and it adapts seamlessly. Ubuntu Touch also includes a built-in app store where you can download additional apps. However, these are not traditional Linux desktop apps. They're specifically designed for Ubuntu Touch. Now let's talk about the terminal. While the OS provides a terminal, everything is locked down. You can't even update packages because of write protection. This restriction is likely there for good reason. I managed to bypass the write protection and installed some tools, but this caused my system to brick. I had to reinstall the OS after that mishap. The system also comes with a built-in web browser and it supports Bluetooth connections. I successfully connected a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard without any trouble. Additionally, with Libertine, you can create a custom container to install and run desktop apps on the device. Now let's move on to the installation process. First, visit the official website, the link is in the description, and download the installer tool for your computer. The tool is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. For this demo, I'm using a Mac. I already had the tool installed on my computer. You'll also need to have ADB and fastboot drivers installed to establish the connection. Once the tool is ready, connect your phone to the computer in fastboot mode. The installer will automatically detect your phone. Ensure that your phone's bootloader is unlocked. This is a mandatory step. In my case, the bootloader is already unlocked and the phone is detected by the tool. Next, select the operating system, Ubuntu Touch, and follow the on-screen instructions to proceed with the installation. The tool will automatically download the necessary files and firmware for your device. Just keep following the prompts. Since we're already in fast boot mode, click continue to begin flashing the firmware. This process can take a while, so I've fast forward this part of the video. Once the flashing is complete, the tool will prompt you to reboot your phone in recovery mode. Restart your phone in recovery mode and click continue. This is the final step. After this, the phone will automatically boot into Ubuntu Touch. Just sit back and watch as the installation completes.
installation is now complete. On first boot, your phone can, it may take a little more time. You can also unplug your device. Finally, the phone boots into Ubuntu Touch. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, check the video description for a list of supported devices to see if yours is compatible.